The Old Man River is a beautiful tailwater fishery located in Alberta. The river is full of large rainbow trout, which are willing to take a variety of different flies. Don, his brother Dale, and our friend Big Al Dunbar are fishing today and trying to do the filming. It's not the best camera work we've seen, but it sure was an enjoyable day of fishing. So join us today on the Old Man River on Sport Fishing on the Fly. So we're at the first run, Dale. Yeah, first run on the river. Had one on right away, first cast, but he was right in behind that first rock. I'm trying to let it go down, feed it down a little further here, see if there's anything down. It's kind of tough with the boulders and stuff in here to... Well, I think that's where they're sitting too. They're sitting in the boulders there and waiting. Yeah, right in the real fast water too, looks like. Yeah. And he had a hit right away. Yeah, I had one on, good rainbow right off the back. Boy, oh boy. I haven't had anything since. It's a nice looking run. Yeah, there's got to be more of them in there. Okay, I'll get this guy in. They're all amongst these boulders here. There's about four or five now that have just come out, moved down from the rapid and in these boulders, in behind the boulders. They're nice rainbows. Oh, not eat me. Oh, hold still, hold still. I'm gonna let you go. Just in the corner. Nice little rainbow. Nice fish. Beauty. There he goes. Yeah, we had to move down into these rocks here where they're strewn all amongst the boulders, and you got to get your bugger to basically just work behind the rocks. It just must stack up in these little staggered rocks. So, And I tried some nymphing up there. I think I'll give it a go for some nymphing down here and see if I can get some. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of finding the fish in behind the rocks there. Exactly. They well, seem to hold, so. let's get a few more. Okay. We've hit just a beautiful section on the old man, just a side channel, and <laughs> these fish are going crazy. But they're feeding on tiny little PMDs. Well, you, and Dale's got one on, but you must be a little big, Dale. What that? You, your fly's got to be it's a little big, big. Yeah, and that's an 18. 18, yeah. They're, they look like they're about 20s or less. Right on the perfect line. Oh, there, there, he took I it. I got him. Oh yes. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, look at him go. Oh man, look at him! Oh. <laughs> He's not happy. What did I tell you? Did I You're tell right. you he'd take that, that blue along? And he took it. You betcha. Oh. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's way down. Way down there. He came and snarfed the little blue wing <laughs> olive. That was a beautiful thing. And he was, it's good because he's way at the back of the hole. He didn't disrupt anything. There he is. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. boiling there. Wow. He's not. So what do you think of that take? Very, oh, there. <laughs> He's still well down there. He's up. Uh-oh. 
Oh, I'm out my back. You haven't been there for a while. You get a little knot up in the, the back in part. This is my old rig too, my old reel. And a rail. Just they threw it together to... Boy, I can't even... Look at how much stress he's got on there. Can't hold him much more than that. 5X tip it. Oh. oh, beautiful. Oh. Nice fish. Very nice. Look at that. How big yeah. is that guy? Oh, that's a nice rainbow. I'd oh. say he's about a... He must be about... 17, 18 inches anyway. Oh yeah, nice fish, especially when you get them dry like oh, that. Oh yeah, just in that calm water and you just... There he goes. All right. Well that's Decent, better. Decent, eh? And boy, look at that run up there and there's got to be how many fish? Which is 15 fish working. Oh, at little least. run off the side. Beautiful. And we rose those fish even on the main side and I just couldn't... You know, it, turned, up, it turned a bad day into a great day, and now hopefully we'll get the rest well, of it. Mean, it's, it's only 4 o'clock. Exactly, we so got the we whole got night. The whole, with it clouding over, so. Right on. Well, I, I think I might take a turn in there now. Okay. Okay. You go. All right. Oh, <laughs> little guy, <Come> finally. <laughs> finally, we were able. Oh, oh they're rising too. Oh, it's place. happening. All up here, I'll tell you what happened. Getting a little later in the day now, we've, we've been fishing some pale morning duns to these fish in this run. Haven't been able to catch them. They've been real finicky, keying on like size 22 PMDs, which is really tough. It's gone a little later, the wind's died down, and I finally coaxed this guy up with a nice little yellow caddis. Not quite the size of about an 18 caddis, but he took it. And that could be a good sign now. What do you oh, think? Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> we've been, we've passed everything over their heads oh, today. Oh, and there's some big fish in here. I mean, this guy's this, probably one of the smallest ones feeding in there, but right now, I'll take anything. That's a good sign. They've been so selective. They yeah. have. Unhooked there. There he is. Just a little guy. Ooh. Little baby. There he goes. Okay, but that's all right, you know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up that run, get this caddis on. There's a fish feeding right here. Can't come up again. And, and I think they're like in a low. I've, I've really shaken baked the fly, really so it's sitting up nice and high and dry. Didn't like it until after it got a little wetter, so maybe they're taking the merger you know, something a little down in the water. So I think I'll leave it kind of wet and try it again. Nice rainbow. Beauty. Good fight. All right. Being so big, Al, you don't do that fish justice. <laughs> wow. Uh -oh. Gave you a good fight. He's going to be tired. Uh... Sitting there. And there he goes. All right, Al. Yeah, I like it. Way to go, bud. Hey. Very nice. Hi everyone, and welcome to the bench. Well today I'm going to tie you up the mayfly cripple. This pattern is really effective in imitating mayflies that are spent on the water and actually laying to one side. Make sure you have these materials ready before you try to tie this fly. For the hook we're going to use a TMC 100 size 18 or 20. We'll use some 8-aught olive thread to tie with, some light dun hackle fibers for the tail, some light yellow dubbing for the body, We'll use a light done CDC puff for the wing and some light done hackle for the hackle. Before we start to tie this fly, we're going to take the hook and actually put it in the vise halfway down the shank and bend it towards you. Bend it towards you in the vise so that it's got about a 45 degree angle bend about halfway through the length of the hook. I've tied my thread onto the bent hook. 
And what I've done is taken about eight strands of my hackle fibers. This is a light done hackle. And we're just going to measure it up about an eighth of an inch back from the, from the shank of the hook. And we're going to tie it in for a tail. I've taken some light yellow dubbing and I'm just dubbing it on my thread. I'm going to take this now and just wind it forward, keeping my body nice and thin and tapering it up about halfway up the hook and just build up a nice dub body. I've taken a light done hackle and we're going to tie it in by the butt right where the dubbing ended. I've now taken a CDC puff and these little puffs are really handy to tie in spent wings because they do flare out and they really make the fly float nice and you can substitute in Zelon or any kind of other nice spent wing material but I really like these CDC puffs. So we're just going to tie it in here where we just finished the hackle. And the big key here is tying it in sideways. You don't want that wing to stand upright. You want it to actually be sitting parallel to the water. So the wing is tied in, nice and spent and on the side. It's not sticking up on the hook. Remember, it's got to be parallel to the water, to the hook. So we're going to take our hackle now, hook up a good set of hackle pliers, take a few wraps behind our wing, just to build up a small hackle. And we're going to go in front of our wing and put a couple more hackle turns around there, just to give it that leg profile. There it is, the finished Mayfly Cripple. Looking at the footage today, those fish on the old man were very finicky, and I'm sure if I had some of these flies along with me, I would have done a lot better. And there's someone else I wish I would have had along with me as our regular cameraman, Les. He couldn't make it. And just watch the next footage, and you'll know what I mean. <laughs> oh, another <laughs> dandy. Good one. Oh, man, I tell you, the, the cattle have start moved on. Getting that time of night, it's uh, 7.44. So if you come to the old man, don't leave too early. Because you know, the old man's notorious. It's out on the prairie. It's just known for having the high winds. When we started, you know, we had the 20 mile an hour winds. And it was a little crazy, but uh, it's calmed out real nice now. Whoa. And it's really, really good. And they are all healthy fish. We're getting them all on dry fly. This one here is a little size 16, might even be an 18, emerging caddis that I tie up little yellow body and I fooled this guy. That's, he your, wanted it. Uh, that's your second one on that fly too. Second one, yeah. Yeah, the first guy was a little smaller and this guy's a little bigger. But he definitely wanted it. He took it good too. There's no doubt about it that he wanted it. He took it, uh, took it right there on the side of the lip. Just unhook him if I can. There it is. Okay, there he is. That's a nice rainbow. Oh, beauty. All in the dry fly. This is just phenomenal. And you know, remember on the Old Man River here, the water levels are nice. They're, they're fairly constant. It is a tailwater fishery below the dam. Oh, and there he goes. And the nice thing is we're in a side channel. We fish the main channel with the big buggers and uh, big closer minnows, things like that. And we pull out some Dolly Varden. We pull out some big rainbows. But in this eddy here, in this little side channels, there's a nice PMD hatch or caddis or something happening. Find the side channels and get the dry fly out because they'll give themselves away. Look to the banks, little dimples, cast in there and you're gonna have a lot of fun. That's a nice fish, isn't it? Yeah, he's a good size fish. He's nice excellent. color. There he goes. There he goes. So that was a little bit unique. 
What'd you do? Well, we were, we were trying to get them their keyed on those pale morning duns, but size 22. <laughs> Which we, we didn't, didn't have, have any. any that small. We had some 20s and they would come up and refuse them. So I figured just on my dry line, I'd float a little tantalizing bugger through there. And sure enough, he picked it right off the surface. Took it like a dry fly almost. Pulsed Unreal. Yeah, well, we had that big one hit it and got off, and then this one we hooked up on, so. Let's have a look at that bugger there and hold it up for everybody, and we'll show everybody. Good. Alrighty. Okay. Well, that well. was the first cast, too, so maybe... Yeah, we'll keep her going and see if we can get do. another one. That looks like a nice one. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is. Big pile. Oh yeah. So now what'd you get him on? A uh, big purple bugger. Big purple <laughs> bugger. I changed with a sink tip now. All right. Very nice. There's big fish too. Look at the size of them. Yeah, right in the sun. Oh, there. <laughs> I guess that'll be doing that. What was that? That was a good release. Didn't have to touch him. All right, no, no, uh, a pretty good day today. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Wind blew a little bit. It's blowing about 20 miles an hour, so it was a little bit uh, tricky casting your fly yeah. around. Well, you know what? That's about 40 miles an hour less than the last time I was here. <laughs> <laughs> I was here last time. And we were with Vic Bergman of the Crow's Nest Angler and not quite what we expected, but uh, the heavy winds on the prairie. If we're out in the prairie, it blows out here. If you get in the foothills, it tends to not be as windy, but still a good day. Oh, good day. We got to use everything today. We caught them on woolly buggers. We yeah. caught them on nymphs. We caught them on dry flies. I mean, it was great. It's on all round day when you catch fish on everything. It's really good. Plus the rainbows. Rainbows yeah. are great fish to catch. We also got some Dolly Varden yes. or some bull, bull trout, trout, which yeah. we never got to show. But still, a lot of, lot of really nice fish. When you come to the old man, take care. Conserve the waters. They've done a great job out here, and it really shows a lot of nice fish. See you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. Mm -hmm.